Wherever octane is converted to horsepower in the spirit of auto racing, you can be sure that the three-pointed star of Mercedes-Benz will be on hand. In 1886, Carl Benz was granted the first ever patent for a motor car, thus beginning an automobile dynasty that has for over a century consistently raised the bar of automotive performance. By the turn of the century, racing automobiles had become the test supreme to establish the reliability and performance of fledgling automakers. Gottlieb Daimler and Carl Benz, not yet partners, each took up the challenge. At the 1908 French Grand of the F France, Daimler's Mercedes finished first. Benz cars finished second and third. In 1914, it was Mercedes 1-2-3 at the French Grand Prix. By the 1930s, Gottlieb Daimler and Carl Benz had joined forces, and Daimler Benz's Silver Arrows were tearing up the road courses of Europe. With Hermann Lang and Rudolf Caracciola at the wheel, they won the European Championships in 1937 and 1939. The post-war 1950s once again saw racing success for Mercedes-Benz as the Mercedes 300 SL prototype, piloted by Herman Lang and Fritz Ries, took Le Mans in 1952. Sterling Moss and Juan Manuel Fangio would dominate the 1955 racing season in the unstoppable Mercedes SLRs. Looking back over close to a century of competition, it's easy to see why today, Mercedes-Benz is a fierce competitor in the Formula One, CART, and FIA racing series. No car in the Mercedes stable has won the hearts of the masses like the Mercedes CLK GTR. With its classic aerodynamic styling, the CLK GTR is a sight to behold, a sports car of tomorrow. Per FIA's tough standards, it carries all the stuff it takes to hit the street, including an airbag for driver safety and catalytic converters. The CLK GTR stands as a testament to Mercedes' proud competitive heritage, with the exception of the plush interior and stereo system, that is. Amazingly, it went from pencil and paper to the test track in a mere 128 days. With Mercedes' longtime racing partners at AMG, headed by Hans Werner Offreck, the GTR development team quickly knocked together a car that could race and win. A car with all the style, grace, and soul of Mercedes. But hardcore race fans always look for the guts behind the glitz. The CLK GTR sports a 600 horsepower V12 tucked neatly amidships. Its carbon fiber composite body skims over the race course on a state-of-the-art wishbone pull rod suspension system. The whole package weighs in at just 2,200 pounds. It's no wonder the GTR qualified on the pole its first time out at the FIA GT Championship in Hockenheim, Germany. Eleven races later, the verdict was in. AMG Mercedes GTR claimed the FIA GT team title with a total of six wins and eight pole positions. For his efforts behind the wheel, Bernard Schneider was crowned the Drivers Series Champion. Then, in what is said to be the most closely contested category in Racer Magazine's annual Reader's Poll, the Race Car of the Year Award went to the CLK GTR. Sporting gullwing doors and that famous silver arrow sheen, the CLK GTR harkens back to its hallowed predecessors. And in a smart marketing move, Mercedes' design team returned to the roots of sports car racing when winning on Sunday meant selling on Monday. The unmistakable Mercedes-Benz grill and three-pointed star are reminders that the CLK GTR shares a stable with luxury performance cars that you and I can own. This rolling test bed is the living, breathing, proving ground for the Mercedes. And now Chrysler, lines of production automobiles, raising the bar one more time. <laughs>